Thanks for joining me here on Chris Review Stuff. Like on any video, if this is useful or helpful to you, please subscribe, it really helps. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Cornovo or Crenovo um, portable, like mobile portable projector. They boast that it's uh, 1080p and it uses the LED lamp technology. So this lasts um, about 50,000 hours, as opposed to the older lamps that use, you know, they, they rate at three to 5,000 hours on you know, high performance or high brightness, I should say. Um, you'll notice I usually stand in front of this in most of my videos, but behind me it's not just a white wall, this is a projector screen because I use projectors here. We're kind of looking for um, something a little smaller possibly to hook up as opposed to having to turn a computer on and turn a projector, the receiver, all this other stuff. Just something a little smaller to play movies on or whatever that kind of can be portable. So this is where this came from. This was sub $100. This looks really good. It had decent reviews on other sites, so hopefully this goes good. Let's unbox it and see what it looks like. All right, so it comes in a nice size box. We keep it in this box for mobility. You know, we keep it in here because we keep it in the car. Um, it's really good, uh, nice packaging to keep it nice and secure. And we keep it in the car because we show movies and pictures of the baby running around to our family. And it comes with a nice remote, runs on two AAA batteries, which are not provided. So you're gonna need AAA batteries. It's got your source, menu, volume up, channel, numbers, anything, power, mute. It's on there. Some of those buttons, like the source and the power buttons, are also on the projector, so you don't need to have the remote all the time. It does come with its own HDMI cable here, which is really good. You don't have to worry about purchasing one. I'm sure everyone has some extra, but if not, it does have one. Also, RCA cables and your power cord. Your power cord, you'll see me stand up, kind of measure it to myself. It's about five feet long, so it's a good length. If you need additional length, you know, you can run, obviously, an extension cord or a power strip if you need to. It's really nice for mobility. It is really tiny and small to keep handy and accessible. That's really what we love about it. That's why we picked it up is because we show these pictures to family and it's kind of hard to show us so on a, uh, you know, a, a phone screen. So we use it on a projector. That button there, that is like the foot that you put underneath the projector to rise it, uh, rise and lower the projector. So in case you're putting it on a, t on a on a table you to show on the wall so it's not like a flat surface so you can kind of raise the projector up the image up a little bit we do keep it in this it comes with this nice styrofoam container comes a nice little bag everything you see here is what we keep in the box because it's really good to have the instruction manual is really good to have it's pretty clear on what to do it tells you how to hook it up what additional things you can hook it up to this is really good if you have a PlayStation, any you know, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, your Xbox 360, Xbox One, your Nintendo Switch, anything that uses an HDMI connection, you can use this. It also has a USB connection on it too, which you can hook up to, like I said, we use it for our phones. You can plug your phone directly into this projector and show the movies and pictures that you, you know, you make their home pictures and home movies you show. Show it to friends on a bigger screen as opposed to your, you know, four inch, five inch telephone you can show it on the wall or on a projector screen and having this nice big image so the usb connection on there is really cool too we do keep it in this bag it the bag kind of sticks to the uh, the lens projector the lens protector there that silicone lens protector which is really nice it fits in there nice and snug i don't feel that it's going to fall out unless i actually go ahead and pull on it this is your focus that little wheel there which is really good to have on the back, you have your keystone, which you notice on the bottom, your keystone, uh, your keystone slider. You have um, your SD card. You have a VGA connection right here too, so you can even take the, the SD card out of your out of your phone, out of your GoPro, put it into the projector, and use it. All really easy to do, nice and quick, easy. Uh, as you can see, this I'm going to put this the rise and low. I don't know. I'm going to call it a foot. Or, you know, you put it in there to keep it so it shoots up, shoots down. You can see you have the fans, really nice ventilation here on both sides uh, to keep the system cool because projectors do, pr you know, create a lot of heat. So you don't want to have them overheat, obviously. Some nice silicone feet on the bottom here. So it's not going to slide off of what you put it on. And it's also not going to scratch a table or an end table that you put it on. Really nice. Additional... Um, the USB port, the HDMI port is all on the side of it. So you do have a few connections in the back, in the rear, and you do have a few on the side. And that right there, I think, was the only, like, I, I thought there would be a mounting bracket so you could mount it upside down. Uh, you also have, oh, you also have headphone um, on the side and your RCA's here also on the side too. 
But you can't mount this. I don't think you can mount this upside down. It does have the feature to allow the image to project upside down, but it only has one hole for you to, to put it on a mount upside down. So it's something to look into as well. Really tiny. It fits in the palm of my hand. Uh, well, it doesn't fit in my hand, but I can hold it really easy with one hand. Nice, good, portable size here. Really nice projector so far for several hundred dollars. All right, so here's the Cronovo projector on. Let's see if you can kind of hear it. Um, you can hear it. It's not. It's not loud. It's not. Um, it's not quiet, but it's not very loud. And next to it, you'll see the very first projector I ever bought, the Vivitech 1080. Um, this was my first 1080p projector. This is like 10 years ago, and you can see just how big difference the size is. The Vivitech on the left is about, like I said, 10 years old. On the right is the Cronovo. They both do 1080p. And, um, you know, obviously the Vivitech has a little more options, but this is great. This Cronovo is great for portable. And up here is what we have right now, the, the Epson 5040 UB. It's a monster. It's big. It does 4K. Um, so I know what I'm doing when it comes to projectors, at least a little bit. I am very novice, but... I have some ideas on what to expect. All right, so here we have a movie playing off my computer through the receiver. Um, this is off of Amazon, and you can see it's, it looks pretty good. Um, the lights are on, so it's gonna turn the lights out and we can actually get a little closer to the, the video and see what it looks like. The colors are pretty good. Um, this is not a... Uh, you know, a 4K image or anything, obviously, it's a 1080p resolution on it. For uh, for $90, this is really good. Um, this is bigger than my TV. Does not look as good as a TV, but it's bigger than my TV. Um, you know, you're watching, I mean, let me put the, that's the remote, you know, a foot away from my camera right now, and then you can see the, uh, the screen looks really good. Let's go ahead and turn the, the volume up some. Now the volume on this thing is, is really good. I mean, that's only, what, 53, 54 it was at? Let's see. Actually, it's at 60 right now. And that's pretty pretty good for the where I'm sitting. I can hear it really loud. It does not sound, have a, it doesn't have a tinny sound. It's got a pretty full sound. The bass is a little, you know, you can feel a little bass a little bit there. This is really enjoyable with the speaker on the system itself. You definitely want to hook it up to an external you know, speakers if you have it or if you can do that, but not needed. It has a nice uh, mute button on it so you can see I can mute it right away or if I need to pause this or exit the movie, pause the movie, rewind, fast forward, really easy to do. The image quality on this is pretty good as well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the house lights up just a little bit just so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so as you can see here, just moving the screen, moving the projector back just two feet pretty much fills my screen, which is 11 feet wide, just over six feet high as well. So 13 feet, you're at a great, great size on the image here. And let's get you a little closer to the speaker. So let's go ahead and turn that speaker back up. At max volume, you can hear the speaker rattle a little bit inside, so you really wouldn't want to play at max volume anyway. So like between 60 and 70 really, really sound is great on this thing. All right, so here I am playing some footage that I took at a local convention using my GoPro. This is, at a this is filmed at 1080p, so this looks just as good off the USB stick, which is what this is on right now. This is the USB stick as opposed to Pitch Perfect, which was from Amazon Prime Video. So the quality on is the same. One's made from me, one's made by Hollywood. So it's really good that the image quality on the projector does not change from the USB stick to an HDMI cable. And the fact that you could hook up your PlayStation and your Xbox to this, your computer, whatever you want, even your phone. We do use the phone up to this as well. 
this thing is great. The picture quality on it is, is really good for, for what it can do. So no change in the supported um, film and format. And so I just want to show this uh, menu here. You have your music, your movies, your photos, and your text. Uh, text would be for like business and such. But each one of these is really neat because what you're going to do is you're going to select what you want to do and it's going to know the supported file formats from the device you're connecting to. So with the USB stick, if you select movie, it's going to know to look for movie formats on there. If I go ahead and pick photos, let's go ahead and see what photos look like on an external hard drive. So you can see all my different stuff here. And if we go into my PAX East pictures, we can see that it sees the JPEGs and everything. Let's go ahead and click on something. You can select multiple videos and pictures and then hit the play button on the remote. It'll show you the picture and then it, it should, maybe it'll skip, let's see if it does. Oh, it automatically skips. So that's pretty cool too, because you can have a slideshow. Um, really neat here, it does little effects and you can just go through the pictures that you want from your phone or USB stick, whatever you have to go ahead and show you what you need. So really cool for pictures and showing them on a big screen.